Hello everyone, welcome to React Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about responsive design. It's not specifically about React, but it's the development that we are doing inside of the React framework. So what we learn here, we will learn how to change font size based on the view resolution, and we will get the familiar terms media query, and we also learn how to show and hide based on the view size. And we will see what are the standards of uh, media query. So okay, here's the final product that we will learn after this tutorial. This is Chrome, and if you open the Dev Tool, uh, you will see this button. We'll talk. We talked about it in a debug session of React development. So if you touch that and also select this responsive dimension, uh, then you will see a view like this that you can change the width and height. So we'll change the width only. So as I change the width you will see some breakpoint that it changed the font size that you just notice it changed the font size for both of these two texts and if I go further it changed the font size again and change again and then as you can see the picture 2 is hidden and if we keep going you'll see it will go shrink and down and font size will go bigger bigger if you expand it. That's what we will learn in this Okay, tutorial. by now we should know how to create an empty view or functional component like this. We just import React, we will define a functional component like this, and this is basically return uh, an empty view, it will be blank. If you have not watched the uh, uh, React development tutorial, I highly recommend to watch it and you will learn how to create a basic React application. And also I imported the styles of it and I added the styles like right to the styles folder here. And then I added that, uh, I just opened it, it's blank right now. So now I want to create a view like this, right? I need some numbers on top and I need to create two picture placeholders like this. So. The first container will look like this. So it's a div with a container. And also these are the divs for uh, the numbers, one through six. And also I have another container, uh, which is, I can just copy paste from here. It's a container that includes two divs, picture one and picture two. So we can look at it and see how it looks like by just Having this okay, by having a component like this without any style, we will see something like this. Uh, it doesn't look like the other one that we have. So let's give it some style. From previous tutorial, we learned how to use display flex, so we can apply it here. If you have not watched the previous tutorial, I highly recommend that you go watch it there. So first thing that we need to do is we have to apply some style to the container, this container and this one. So in order to do that, we can just grab it by the class name and then target that. So we can just say display flex by just having this simple style. We can just look at our view and see it became like this. And now we can give it some other, we can we have to get some style to the items uh, and what are items? Uh, but basically item. So if I go back to the class, I see all of the uh, class name for the child are item. So if whatever style that I apply for item, it will take effect. And I can just do maybe font size. Uh, so I would like to give it 20 pixel. And text align. Text align is when you want to align this text center and yeah I can just give it some width and height width uh, I would call it 50 VH I, I don't use pixels I would like to use viewpoint height uh, sorry viewpoint width and width and height for height we use the same thing 10 viewpoint height so let's see how I look like so as you can see it gave it some width and height we can do the same thing for the pictures uh, so the pictures has 
class names, as you can see, pick one and pick two. So we can give it dot pick one. And in order to apply the same uh, style to pick two, we can just use comma here and then apply the things that we want to do I copy paste some of the things that I want to apply for these texts uh, so width would be 100% height would be 50 VH I added a border around the picture so we see uh, the box of each picture and we have text align center so if I save it and go back as you can see, it looks like what we had in our demo when we showed the demo. But it, this difference that the font size is different. Now, before going further and talking about the responsive design, this is the basic design that we just gave it to this uh, view elements, nothing special about it. Before doing any responsive design, you have to think about what device and what target that you're trying to achieve. For example, if you're targeting only certain devices like certain iPad size or uh, some desktop size, some uh, iPhone size, you have to write them down and see which devices are important to you and based on that device you can target your responsive design. But if you have not any specific design in your mind and you just want to support most of the views uh, and have something general, uh, you can uh, add the media query that I will offer in this tutorial. And the most important things that we will do, we have to first target the phone. So we always say that for responsive design, mobile first. It means that whatever I added the code here, the style here, this is for mobile size. This is not for this size. That's why you see that this font is small. This is only for mobile. Why? Because mobile devices has less CPU than desktop. So they load slower. So we if for, with media query we'll add some logic to change the view and use a different style in order to load it fast for mobile we need to add the logic first for mobile so whatever you add here is only for mobile devices like uh, iPhone and uh, some device sizes <coughs> that are similar to iPhone for Android as well so if I change the size and if I do this inspect the element and select the iPhone maybe 10R so this is the size that I'm targeting with this view and then I can move forward with my changes for the other device sizes so this is very important to uh, keep in mind now I want to hide picture 2 if you remember that in uh, the demo picture 2 was hidden so let's do that let's just uh, say some logic here for the phone because we are still in the phone and we want to make the pick 2 hidden we can just say display not so as soon as I save it and go back you'll see this is the phone size and my view looks great so I have all of the numbers and my picture this one picture it's not jammed if it had two pictures it would definitely shrink my pictures but I would like to show it like this in previous, previous tutorial we learned how to add the pictures for example if you have one div here and one div next to it uh, we can just add it to the bottom so you can use display flex but if you hide it this is the way that you can do it so first we're targeting phone so that is it for iPhone in the design that I was desiring is exactly look like this now I have to go to the different sizes if the user 
increase the size like go back to the uh, responsive design and my picture too is gone for responsive for even if I have a lot of room it doesn't show the picture too because it doesn't know what to do with it so that's the place that we talked about media query so let's talk about it okay there are three things that I would like to correct here first the width and we have to use 100 VW uh, which is VU point width uh, and same measurement that we used on um, top here VW and also instead of uh, pixel I would like to use REM uh, for both here font size and here so this is more responsive but instead of pixel we use REM and if I save it and then go to the browser that is look like when we have for this view now we want to target as I said the general stuff uh, if you don't have any specific uh, device size in mind uh, the best way to handle it is uh, based on the media query that I will teach you and first we need to know what is media query it all it does is for example says uh, if you see a device with this size do this and that's all it does so how do we tell it we can say at sign media and we can say all and we say okay so if you see the maximum width of the device is 200 pixel then apply this style so what style we need here it's basically for the very small uh, devices like if I go to the responsive and then shrink the page to this it will tar target this one currently you see it, it doesn't look good the, the uh, fonts are not appropriate and for sure this picture with shrinks so the best way to handle it is just adding our style here so what do we do here we can just do the same thing that we did in here we can just do say that container and we target the things that we want to apply so for example for item instead of having font size 2 rem I would like to have 1 rem and I can just target it here we, s we list all of the ones that we want to change for example I will not uh, list this one because it already center even for any size it's already center so I don't repeat it but instead the things that I want to change like font size I would uh, mention it here or width and height uh, basically this item I would like to see what is the width and height I can just remove them because I don't need them I just need the uh, font size and same thing for pick so for pick one and pick two we have the font size border width and height and text align so all I need here for the picks is just uh, I want to see what is the font size and it again should be uh, one rem so I copy paste everything then I remove the things that I don't need like text align uh, it should be always center no matter what if it's one device, device size or the other one so I save it and then go back to the view you don't see the change here but as soon as I uh, change the view to see it changed the font size for me so that's how it targeted the very small devices that's we call it breakpoint so this is a breakpoint for this size and it will target that size of the view so I can just um, collapse it and then I can go to the next breakpoint that I would I would like to define for my application which is one size bigger than phone and this is how I target it I say uh, minimum width of the device is 600 pixel so basically it's saying if you see a device with the minimum width of 600 pixel and maximum width of 767 apply these kind of um, style that I'm telling you so what style we need we can just uh, do the same thing that we did for the previous one we can just I can just cheat and copy paste that I would like to see and paste it here and what it it's exactly like the previous one if you see 
I use the font size 1 REM but because this is a bigger device size I use 3 REM so I, I went from phone basically from very small phone very small device which was 1 I jumped to 2 REM which is the phone size I can just close this and then I for the next size I went through 3 same thing for the font size of the uh, pics and what additional thing I added here is that okay I want to show the pic 2 because in this device size I have enough room to show pic 2 so instead of display none that we add here which means don't show it I added display initial it means that go back and show the picture so if I save it and then go back to the view this is a small size it doesn't show the pic 2 and the as soon as I go further, this is the phone, phone size, it doesn't show pic 2 yet but as soon as I go one uh, view size further and you can see the uh, width and height of the view that I targeted you'll see the picture do 2 show up and the font size became to 3 REM I can do the same thing for the next breakpoint so I can go to the next breakpoint which is uh, we have seven six seven we can target the next breakpoint which is this one I can just copy paste everything and I do the same thing here I can just remove this VH2 this is extra but instead of three REM that we had for the previous one I go to four REM same thing for the pick and I can target the next one like this uh, let me go paste and cheat basically and in this one instead of 4 REM I can add 5 I, uh, REM so if I expand it you will see previous one had 4 REM now I target this one 5 REM and the last one which is a very big size of the screen and basically usually it's for very high resolution uh, devices or TV uh, I can this too, is a so you can see I go one REM at the time on top of each breakpoint so as soon as I copy I mean save it and go back to my view if I expand the view see it went to the next breakpoint and then if I expand okay. it more, you see that it these numbers enters the pictures so that doesn't look good so why it happened it's because uh, in our items uh, when we were adding style uh, we added the height 10 VH we can just add it to any VH and save it and as you can see it resolved the issue so uh, if I expand the view further it goes to the very last uh, breakpoint or media query that we defined here and this is the standard sizes that we have for all of the devices available but again if you want to target some specific device make sure that your breakpoint is v um, listed here and also make sure that you follow the rules that mobile first first add the style for mobile and then target the desktop views that's all for this tutorial uh, I might add more responsive maybe responsive design to very later not for now but that was the basic concept of responsive